Oh. Boom. Welcome. Welcome. Yay. Oh, I'm not. It's not going through yet. Well, it's, it is actually. Sometimes, even though you don't see it going through, it's actually going through. It's recording. I started recording, so I'm going to oh, post it's it. It's doing the loop. No one let me mute. Oh, he shit. Dude, I never mute. I never I mute. I let stuff I go. I'm not like I know you. you do. I let things go. Let, let welcome to OA and Bodhi. Bodhi is welcome. afraid of spontaneous order. I, on the other hand, and am not. I'm not I'm even not afraid. afraid of spontaneous disorder. Either way, I'm, it's all yeah. good. I am all That's for part of open, it. open, open action. This is open action. This is a grand opening of open action. Welcome to the show. It's gonna be a threesome between me, Ooh, Paul, threesome. and Tyagananda. We're going to try and make this a regular show where we talk about open action as opposed to coercive enterprise. That means if you lean to the left uh, spectrum in anarchy, we're probably going to trigger you. And if you lean to the right, <laughs> to spectrum, the right spectrum of the anarchy spectrum thingy, we're probably we're gonna going trigger to trigger you. you. There's going to be some triggers up in here. And if you don't understand what anarchy is, you're probably going to be like, hey, you guys make sense. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> Stating interesting. Stating my state face is like, I don't know. They make perfect sense to me. They make perfect make, sense. Get government perfect. out of everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. That's, that's great. super. That's awesome. They just didn't call it anarchy. I like I like this. this. I like this a lot. Wow. <laughs> it's that easy, man. It's that easy. Yeah. See, winning, so, uh, winning hearts and minds is what we're doing. So yeah. we're all pretty much we're all pretty much self-employed, which means we're all jobless. I'm not. I'm not jobless. I have real kind clients and real work. I'm not at all jobless. I have well, real money coming in. For the purpose for the sh no money's real. I have it relative to the reality that is money, I have real money coming in. Money doesn't exist. Money. It, well, it doesn't exist. God, um, ask me. It doesn't, it doesn't exist, exist but... but it does help me buy things. Like I <laughs> bought this glass with money. This glass right here. Or, I I actually chose to buy that glass with the freaking Mickey uh, yeah. Mouse on it. I did I that. Got some... Hey, are are you drinking? No, oh, man. <laughs> freaking orange juice, dude. It's just. Did orange you spend juice. the last year money on your um, alternator? It's. Oh, 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 Ty, did you no. spend the last of your money mm -hmm. on your older? Oh, oh, well, I'm really low on money, so I the last of my money from recent, yeah, I spent. Well, it don't on don't worry, money doesn't exist. No more worries. But I, 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 you know, first off, hats off to Ty because he knows that he needed to get a better microphone and and headphones, and he managed Need to save enough to get a needle penis microphone and needle I, penis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that, Ty. It's beautiful. <laughs> I need a bigger one. Yeah, he needs, <laughs> I need a bigger one. We, we want that t-shirt, by the way. It's just going to say, I need a bigger one. <laughs> I need it. a bigger one. You can fill in the blanks on that. So what are we going to talk about? <laughs> what are we going to put on the initial OA? I oh, propose the, the opening of OA that we talk about Antifa and alt-right. And why it is that both of them are right and both of them are wrong. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll start out with why everybody's wrong. Oh, this is... Bodhi's got this nailed. This I'm going to start thing. out with everybody's wrong. Um, Antifa is wrong because they're scared little babbies about words. Mm -hmm. uh, the alt-right is wrong because they're scared little babbies about words. That's actually fact. He stole my lines. I was going to say that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> they're both a bunch of pussies who have to resort to violence to settle their differences because they can't speak like grown-ups and find a use for one another. They run to their dictionaries <laughs> right away. They run to their fucking dictionaries. They run for the etymology. They run to their fucking history yes. of the words because they can't yes. talk man to man and settle their fucking differences yeah. and make the world a better place for their children. They have to resort to violence. It's bullshit. Okay, Ty, your turn. <laughs> well, I think the violence part's not good, at least at, at this moment in time. Before, I mean, uh, with, this, with those two guys fighting, uh, uh, I'll write a new term, but uh, with those two guys fighting, um, all right, uh, Nazis it was... and commies. Not let's just be straight up. Nazis and commies. Nazis and commies. Hey, we did a show about this. <laughs> the, Ty, did you saw the show? It's right? the only two people it's that the exist. Commies show, right? 
Oh, yeah, you're either a Nazi or a commie. You're either a Nazi or a commie. There is no in-between. Absolutely. Or or outside of that. There is no outside of that. There's no outside of that. That's funny. You know that game where you play inside or outside of with the cards? Is it bullshit or asshole or something? Bullshit. Uh, I played that game. No, it's asshole. I think it's asshole. Interesting factoid. I wrote a screenplay with my wife about our time in the mental hospital. We actually met in a mental hospital, okay? That's where I met my freaking wife. So fight me. And and the screenplay was mostly based. Hey, at least you knew she was crazy from At the least start. I knew she was crazy. We met each other at our <laughs> worst. It wasn't going to get any worse. So I was like, oh, we's cool. We cool. Dating you know, nowadays, you have no idea what you're walking into. Oh, At least I, I, there, oh, you had an honest. Oh, here we 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 saw you know the the poop and all of that right away. It's like no, right no away, much. just bam. So I wrote, we wrote this screenplay. I'm, I'm jealous. We wrote the screenplay, and and one of the scenes is actually we're playing the game bullshit, oh, which is uh the the game bullshit, the card game bullshit is that you say you have so much you know whatever in your hand, and you know somebody says bullshit, call, bullshit. Then if they're right, then you have to take their cards and your cards. If they're wrong, they have to take your cards. And I wrote this screenplay. My wife and I, we wrote this screenplay together, and we submit it to a screenplay contest. And somebody wrote in there. They actually wrote this. They said, this is totally unrealistic. This would never happen in a mental hospital. I'm like, it did. (laughs) It, It actually did. But anyway, I digress. Oh, my mic is quiet? Who's saying really? your mic is quiet? I, I can hear your mic just fine. Yeah. My mic is quiet, maybe? I don't know. Is my output? Oh, wait. What, that... what channel are we on? I should probably try to promote this. Pretend that I'm We're on there. the Agora. We're on the Agora. We're on the Agora. The the containerless container. The, the, the container, container of all without, things. The container I'm of all things, the right? The other two. Oh, yeah. You guys are... Oh, I'm way low. Sorry. <coughs> there wow. we go. I, I, you, you sound I'm fine probably... to me. Huh, that's interesting. I'm probably better now. Sorry, guys. I'm a re- I'm, I'm, who, who I'm, is who is Conspiracy Garden, by the way? Conspiracy and Garden is the John Smith, the one, the I only. I didn't know John that, John. I, uh, John, I did not know that. Yeah. I apologize for my ignorance and my shame and my woe. Yeah, everybody was waiting for this show because no one had any idea, including us, what it was going to be about. <laughs> we, don't know. We, gotta, we're going we came up with the logo. We came up with the logo before we even had a show idea. Yeah. I, oh, actually. Oh, well. Speaking of logo, I, this is the time. The time to do this because I'm the only one that cares about the show. Look at this. See this? I. I'm ripping the sh- the the base. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh. I got the t-shirt, baby. The t-shirt. I gotta get it now. Actually, I just got it. I think I I, yeah. I just got it Go yesterday. Go to agora.threadless.com slash designs slash open dash action. Or just Google open action Agora Threadless, and you'll find it easier that way. Thank you, because metadata helps. Metadata helps, absolutely. And that's actually how I found your Hidden Kami shirt recently. I <laughs> hidden Kami Agora Threadless. Boom, there it was. That's so, awesome. Yes. Little oh. known factoid. There you go. Interesting. By the way, I encourage you to, to Google Hidden Kami. Like we're, we're all Hidden Kamis, by the way, unless we adapt your particular <laughs> brand of... We're all Hidden Kamis. Um, I, I, I even have a Hidden Nazi shirt, so that's fine. Well, you know, I actually Whoa. thought about this. Ooh. I I, ha- I have a shirt. I, I have a shirt, and it's a Bodhi shirt. I, I wear a lot of Bodhi shirts. I'm not going to lie. Actually, most of the world wears a Bodhi shirt. They just they don't, don't even know it. know it, right? So I don't my know shirt, why my internet is cutting out. I don't Fruit know. The, you're not cutting out for us. You're not cutting out for us. No. So just keep your guys just just turn on. Oh. oh, just just pretend. Have faith. Have faith in the internet. So I have a T-shirt and it has a picture of a hammer and a sickle and you know basic communist images. And communists have done horrible things. They 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 they've murdered millions upon millions. Uh, but, but I, I in I, their defense, in their defense, right, humans in, in their defense. humans have done terrible things for the history of mankind. Well, okay, I, I don't want to get and down so that path. And so dinosaur. I'm, I'm gonna try and make. You think it Tyrannosaurus different. Rex was a nice person? It was not. It was not. He didn't even. He, he wasn't very nice <laughs> to people. I can tell you that. If he saw a person, he'd just as soon eat him as as talk to him. That's the kind of guy he was. So. Uh, 
the, their the, hand. It has these symbols on it, the the communist symbol, which you know communists have killed millions. And you know, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of keen on on challenging the whole sacredness of of symbols and images and saying, you know, they're just symbols, they're just images. We can conquer them, we can render them impotent by not giving them power. But I could not do that with a Nazi symbol. I or and live. Because if I was awarded a t shirt, which I, I'm I would be inclined to possibly do just to desensitize the I couldn't do that with a Nazi symbol. You could do that with a commie symbol, but you okay, couldn't I do think. that with a Nazi symbol. And Bodhi has left the room. Where where is Bodhi gone? This is this is a this, this is this is a part of the show, I, folks. Can you hear me? I can't hear you guys. No, it goes it kinda cuts out and stuff like that a lot. Um, for some reason, maybe my connection, you can wow. hear me fine. I, I can hear you fine, but right now I don't see your picture. So you have a internet connection issue. Oh shit. That's probably what it is. Cause my picture shows me to me here. Oh man. And Bodie is, is Bodhi not wearing, got... what are you wearing? Oh, and there you go. Bodie is bold enough to do it. I am not, I am not bold like... enough to do that. Because you will not get nearly as much blowback for a hammer and sickle as you will for a Nazi sign. And, and don't get me wrong. Sign. I, well, it's actually, I mean, and actually the Nazi sign is back. like, it's filled with, it's a long, thousands of years of history that have nothing whatsoever to do with Aryan supremacy or, or anything no. like that. It's all tied well, into. The Nazis actually flip it and they put it at a 45. Right. Yes. But, but. <laughs> but if you're in the wrong company, Bodie, you're probably going to get your your head knocked off for that. Yeah, even though I got the Buddhas. Right, exactly. And it's you know, I and I think that Bodie, you would agree with me. It's about the the power of symbols that the, the power that we give to symbols. Yeah, it's we ridiculous. Give, we give authority to symbols instead of conquering symbols and saying, "Dude, I'm not going to let this symbol become." I mean. It wasn't the symbol that murdered millions of people. It was the people that murdered millions of people. The individuals. Yeah. When we when we put it all on symbols, we we remove the the human, the individual element, the individuals who chose to follow the orders to right. actually, you know, pull the triggers. Because they failed to realize their own significance as an individual in acting. They were so focused on the aggregate whole and forgot that they are not powerless against it, that they went along with it. And Ty right now is trying to figure out how to get a better internet connection, by the Hello? way. Right now, Ty, Hello? Ty is the great gray void. Well, his image uh, is still there. Ladies frozen. and gentlemen. Well, on mine, it's just a, an hourglass thingy going around in the gray nothingness. Oh. Well, it did me well. Did it do you well? Is that the phrase you it want did to live me by? Well. It did you well? It did me well. It did you well. Fuck. It did me well. Wow, and there goes Ty again. Wow. So, this is live We're TV. This a... is live TV. This is this is national network to... television time. We are off to a great start. This Everyone is, is gonna watch this. Everyone is gonna share this with their Everybody's children. Everybody's gonna want to watch this one again. <laughs> like, oh man, darling, have you heard about the Nazis? Have you heard about the Nazis and the commies? Watch the Nazis this show, and the commies. Sweetie. Actually, we did a show recently, didn't you? You and I. Nazis and the commies and the silver spoon. We did a show recently Little where... Little boy Jew and the man on the moon. We did a show recently where <laughs> we had Nazis in the background on one side and commies on the background on the other side. Nazis to the left of me, commies on the right, here by here. Because that's how everybody is seeing the world right now. You're Nazis or you commies. And you're ask basic, somebody yeah. to define Nazi. Ask somebody to define commie. Good luck. And you're going to be describing the exact same people. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, that's the idea. Damn, I can't hear shit, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, you know, why, why don't I can't we, even do this. Why don't we hang up from hear Ty and try to join him back in? If we can do yeah, that. why don't you hang up and join in? Yeah, hang up and then, yeah. I'll Just call you back. Oh, okay. Even though it'll mess up my thing for a little bit, but that's okay. I'm willing to take one for the team. Right now, okay. like I got the image all set up, but Skype is on OBS. You got to crop it in certain ways. And when his image disappears, all of the images that you see here that are all in order and in the right place, and I 
I did such work to craft this to look the way that it does. It's gone. There you go. There you go. Now it's a bloody mess. So if you're watching the show on YouTube and you're watching my version on YouTube, you see my hands right now. You don't even see Bodie. Oh, no, no. You see Bodie's chin. But then there we go. Ty is back. Am I here? Well, let's see you're if you're back, back. You're back, but you're. Let's see. You're, you're back, back. back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're clear. Oh, but you're fucking. There we go. There we go. You're a little laggy. Yeah. Are you on Wi Fi? No, now I plugged it in with the cord to see if it makes a difference. But I think it's yes. Verizon. They suck. Plugging yeah. in with the cord is way better. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. live way out in the country, so I have to use like um, Verizon. Uh, we're we're gonna have to course. fix that, sir, because we need this is a high production, high quality show. Sir. Yeah, you're gonna have to like move to the city or something. Yeah, probably you're gonna have to move oh, to shit. Bethlehem, PA. Probably. <laughs> you might even have to come to the East Coast and get away from. That's what commies. I'm saying. Yeah, get away from the freaking <laughs> commies. Commies everywhere. Commie <laughs> porn. Yeah. Hey, I'll take you to I'll take you to some vegan co-op restaurants here by commies actually. Oh yeah. Come visit. I'm not bullshit. They actually have co-op owned co businesses here, even coffee wow. shops. Well, that's not possible. Yeah. You can't. You They're can't all be, be, because well, they're of too. Dude, <laughs> dude, I I understand. You know, language language prohibits you from doing certain things. Language controls your life, and therefore, yeah. uh, because uh, property is individually owned, uh, you cannot consent individually to uh, collectively owning property. Therefore. Boom! It can't exist. So you're thanks, lying. Dave. It can't exist. Thank, thanks, Dave Painter. Thanks, Dave Painter. Thanks, language. Thanks, dictionaries. <laughs> thanks, dictionary. Thank you for keeping me from doing this horrible yes. error in logic. Yes, thank you, Dick. I literally had a, I had a back and forth with someone the other day, and it was over something stupid. And you can't say that. And I'm like, yeah, but I just did. I can't. I well, that would did. just make you not logical, and I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> Look, and I'm still alive. I didn't. I didn't suddenly sprout three heads and die. I'm I still didn't spontaneously here. combust <laughs> by espousing this idea you've happened to find contradictory. And literally, I have a friend that lives in uh, San Francisco that I do even a certain particular business deals on certain things, and he's and calm. <laughs> It's voluntary exchange. That's dude, why. you can't be you can't be an anarchist and a communist, dude. Come on. No, you just cannot. There's no way you can believe in working together. Hey, we have some. <laughs> we we have some. I, I'm watching the live stream right now, and I gotta say, it's a little broken up. <laughs> it's a little broken up. Uh, what do you uh, mean? But don't worry, the recording of the show that I'm doing right now is probably better than the live stream. Right now, the live stream, I'm looking at it, and it is, uh, I'm going to, let me let me just do this here. Here you go. Here you go. This is it's what I'm seeing. Stream, this is what I'm seeing, right? There you go. There you go. We're all pixelated. Dude, oh, it's like, shit, do you remember the 90s when you had the, the porn them. channels? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Look, you, you know, you just keep watching. You get like a glimpse of suddenly. Oh my gosh! Look, I saw a booby. I saw a booby. Look, there's a. There it is. There's a booby right there. Look, booby. mine's fine. Mine's fine. You fucking tool. Wow, that's amazing. This is my Skype, I guess. But no, I'm I don't. On, I don't think I it's you. It so I'm not uh, sure. It's all Ty's fault. It's Ty's <laughs> fault. All my videos get all messed up all the time, even if I'm in a good area too, man. I, that's <laughs> I always feel like it's always yeah. Actually, up. yeah. When I watch your video, I I, I want to watch your videos. I want to watch all of them. And then it's like, yeah. oh gosh, I can't watch this anymore. I'm sorry, buddy. And it's like I I hot. bail on you because I can't yeah. watch. It's like anymore. I have this really important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 aliens uh, uh, JFK solve the world's problems uh, 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 cure for uh, uh, cancer uh, 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 oh, man. Jimmy Hoffa's body I noticed that too. <laughs> I was like damn was there's like, certain I... stuff I said and stuff that I've seen that it got cut out but wow that sounded funny and it's like, okay our entire last show we did got zucked well not oh, entirely yeah. not entirely sir not entirely but for the most part yeah, half of it is zucked. The half other half, there, there are there are segments that have been recorded. Okay, there we go. There now I can see it. Dang, I gotta say, I sometimes forget what a good-looking man I am. 
Yeah, you're too big. Hold on, let me shrink. I'm you. actually pretty. No, 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 no. I'm the eye candy man. You want this big? You want this big? And uh, Chris is I'll not just make you what bigger. I'm doing. I'll just make you bigger in the corner. No, I. You're, I'll you're, put you're... I'll put the open action right over your little microphone thing. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. And you that. can you can be bigly. Now you got me. You got my nose all up in it, man. Now I'm looking at. See, I can see it live right now. This is the bleachy. What are we even talking about? We're talking about Antifa <laughs> and uh, alt right and how both of them yeah. are right. And oh both yeah, of them are wrong. both of them yeah, are fucking are... jokes. Well, they're I guess they're violent, but the thing is, there's like also uh, many different groups or, or branches of Antifa. Antifa is not really a group, like the well, word well, anarchy. And, and neither term is alt right. Is and neither is all yeah, right. neither is all right. That's not even that's not how they label themselves. Yeah, there's a whole well, bunch alt. of different alt righties with very alt different TV, views. Yeah. Well, those the other kind of people are like alt lights actually. I, I alt think right that, straight up centric. On I think that's uh, just your anti racist. I think that's just your anti racist <laughs> tendencies. Just. <laughs> You know, just blanketing he, all of these skinheads. You know, you know Bodie, your shirt, <laughs> your, your shirt is making you on my video. When you guys, by the way, when you guys see my Ooh, video nice on YouTube, which is better than Bodie's, because you know it is. Uh, Bodie is a disembodied head floating in front uh, of the I'm, I'm a disembodied head on this too. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> right, that reminds me of Rahu. Rahu. Who's Rahu? Rahu is like the. Isn't that that spaghetti sauce? No, that's ragu, ragu. Head that oh, ragu. The... <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's, that's a different sensei or something. I don't know. That's a completely no, sensei, different sensei. Sensei ragu, what do I put on my spaghetti? <laughs> uh, sauce, <laughs> sauce. <laughs> oh my god. Ragu uh, is an disembodied head that swallows the moon and the sun. Supposedly. Oh supposedly. shit. That's, Eclipses, yeah. That's, that's what it mean. reminded me of when you said that. That's yeah. Kind of that's my planet, actually. That's why I wear this uh, stone here. Um, see? It's on my Chupa. astrological Chupa. chart. I sit on, actually. It's weird. Well, and this is like Vedic tantric stuff, so that's just hmm. another thing. <laughs> Word. But it reminded me of Rahu when you said that. I was like, whoa, Rahu. <laughs> Rahu, Rahu. So, Rahu. So let me ask you, Ty. Give me... Uh, Say something nice about Antifa and something good about and nasty about Antifa. Yeah. Give me the Give good us... and the bad of Antifa. Yeah. The, uh, and I understand well, Antifa is a large umbrella term, so let's deal with them in a large umbrella way, if you can do yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, I think Antifa is great, and they do a lot of good things around the world, especially fighting wars with ISIS and different things like that. Um, and there's different groups that do different things, and not all of them are also violent. Just like, um, you know, uh, 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 there's, well, you know, a lot of them, a lot of Antifa kind of falls, I sound fuzzy, a lot of Antifa falls under a, a really, uh, um, aggressive uh, form of handling things, but that's because that's what's from the past, where people didn't really have political platforms and everything, and they'll get in fights in the street with racist people. That's just how it was. But now it's like entering a political arena, so it's all messed up. So, uh, so I don't think fighting is gonna even work out. It's not like that. What? But uh, uh, now, now the bad part of Antifa, I guess, how they're handling shit right now is completely bad, very disorganized, and not really having good tactics of. Uh, the, uh, uh, moldy the locks. Tell me about moldy locks. <laughs> moldy locks. Moldy locks. Self-proclaimed Antifa, who posts on her yeah. Facebook page before she goes into battle that she's going to collect Nazi scalps. Is that <laughs> is that a, is that an authentic representation of what you think of as Antifa? Uh, yeah. Um. Right now, that is that having fights in in places like that right now, um, because um, Trump has given them, given them a platform and how to speak shit out in a certain way. Has Trump given them a platform, or have Not, they have they taken they gave, the platform, they or have they taken? They taken the platform because they heard what they wanted to hear finally. Because they're non-voters, also a lot of the neo-Nazi groups and and, and, and so are the anti-far, right? right? Uh, Antifa are non-voters, but this That's the weird thing about yeah. Antifa. There's a, a a lot of different types of people, and there's a minimal amount of status 
around Antifa, but remember, Antifa just really means anti-fascist. And um, but Antifa to me, to me, to me, Antifa has become, it's become, uh, it's become fashion. There's a lot of yeah. people that have adopted Antifa. They're waving the Antifa flags. I don't think they know F1 about what Antifa really is, but like the, the flag is cool and they get to do mayhem and uh, they get to, to bash conservatives. They get and... to participate in Black Block, except they wear yeah! unique identifiers that get them tagged in videos and then charged criminally in courts of law. Because they're idiots. Because they're dumb. But they're going to be wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm an equal opportunity idiot proclaimer. <laughs> the whole yeah. right is just as idiotic to me. They're just as me. dumb. Yeah, just, I love that one. They're all I love for the, the dumbs. They're all did for you the see dumbs. this State Yvonne State face alt-right yeah. guy who got, oh, he was right. wearing yeah. armor and he got, he was arguing with the other alt-right uh, Nazi Nazis and then he got fucking destroyed. Oh, wow. I didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, he, he was wearing a suit of armor. He was trying to LARP and then they just punched him in the face. And then the cops didn't even step in. Like, the cops stepped in and just started beating everyone. Um, uh, was this recent? Where was this at? Yeah. This was a while ago. I gotta find oh. Just look for a guy. Look, he's, He was wearing armor. He looked like a freaking gladiator. Or and it's shit. not face like, dick, man. He's, he's holding the American flag. And, ah, and then these other guys are just like, what are you doing? See, and, and that's kind of what I see as being played out in the streets between the "Quote unquote alt right and the quote unquote alt left." <laughs> Nobody I, really I, knows. I, I don't think. I, and there's I like alt left. It's like, or, 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 yeah, yeah. That's a phrase that I've heard. Alt left and yeah. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, also, control left. CTRL. Control left. Oh yeah. Uh, George Soros. Right. right. And then right, I saw right. a meme George for Soros control. Funding everything. Right. The best meme was control alt delete. Right, control, control. Alt, Oh, nice. And I'm control I'm actually alt. for that. I'm for the whole yeah. Yeah. control alt. Just control alt delete. Like, let's just start over. Like, so, hold so, on, guys. Time out. So, Ty, for you, when you say alt right left, I mean, um, excuse me. Um, when you say anti fa, you're thinking something that I don't think the majority of people would. So, when you if you go on Facebook and you say I love anti fa, most people yeah. are thinking pretty much you love Hitler. Or Mussolini oh, well, or yeah, whatever, yeah. you love horrible, horrible things because yeah. they don't they don't have that same meaning that you you have a a deeper under a, a deeper historical understanding of Antifa, but yeah. most well, people and, and a personal understanding of what Nazis are. You know what? Oh when, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the clubs and parties too. Yeah. And, and, and most people, I think, when and they see Antifa, right. when they see Antifa. All they think is, and and now when we say this word, this word doesn't trigger us, but it does most people. Anarchist Hillary supporters. That's oh my God. what Antifa yeah. is. Yeah. That's <laughs> what it is. So when you say, I love Antifa, I believe most people are reading that and saying, he's an anarchist Hillary. And for them, when, they, when you say anarchist, anarchist means Molotov throwing, bomb throwing, oh, right. destruction, mayhem. Uh, yeah. just, just, just I didn't total get chaos. my way, so I'm gonna blow right. everything up and make oh, everyone pay for it. So you have a language yeah. problem. <laughs> if you're trying yeah. to talk to anybody yeah. on the right, you have a language problem. I'm gonna say. But then, uh, when when I say alt right, I mean even though I understand it has all kinds of nuances and all that, but honestly, for me, the connotation of alt right is Nazi. I'm like, if if you're gonna boldly proclaim yeah. your alt right, I'm like, okay, I gotta ask you a lot of questions immediately <laughs> because right yeah. now you know I are, immediately don't trust you because <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> white supremacist goose stepping. Well, uh, but but as you're soon doing as they it a start kinder, well, gentler way. Well, no, yeah. I, I'm just a nationalist. Okay, goodbye. Oh, no. <laughs> goodbye. I'm I'm just Go a nationalist. Ahead. I'm I'm a an nationalist anarchist. It's like uh, what? <laughs> yeah, there is nationalist anarchists though, and they were back in the day. Well, from what I know of, even Skinner has groups that can proclaim national uh, anarchism. Even a few, yeah, it uh, has not all of them. It hasn't huh? really changed. And they're the same. I've watched these people that are. Oh, I'm not really a Nazi. I'm just a nationalist. And then they're posting <laughs> like Panzer memes and like, oh, I want a tank so I can crush these Jews. And I'm like. Ooh. Okay, so you're a Nazi. <laughs> right. No, 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 I'm right. a nationalist. I just, it's just like, 
But you want to build a tank and run over Jews. Fucking You're tank. a Nazi. If we want to, <laughs> and again, we get to the language. Well, so. they use helicopters and the fucking status left fucking use tanks with the fucking tankies and helicopters or something. No, no, the They're lefties are crazy. punching Nazis and the righties are lobbing commies out of helicopters. Uh, we did, yeah. we did a show. You saw the show, so you know the show that I we're talking about. Yeah, I like that. I'm I want to ask the all, I want to ask the right the people who want to throw commies out of helicopters, who's yeah. paying for the fuel? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> is it, get the helicopter. Uh, is it the commie families or the commies families paying for the fuel or or what's the deal? You know when I'm pretty <laughs> flight is ruled by the FAA, and uh, you kind of need like some licensing and some piloting skills and well, you, you need, need understand. You have yeah. to have your hands on a helicopter, which takes extensive use. You, you need the state for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you actually don't need the state for that. Well, you need the state to steal their money. You need the state. You don't, or you, can, need, you can kidnap you them and steal their money. I guess that's the, probably how. In the something. current paradigm, if you want to get away with dropping commies out of a helicopter, you need a state. In the yeah. current paradigm, right. Realistically, you need the state. You need the state to be able to so do that. So when people advocate throwing someone out of a helicopter, I automatically know their status. Because, right, because, uh, I mean, if you're going to start lobbing people out of helicopters, probably going to get caught. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's highly probable. I'm not saying for sure, but it's highly probable. But let's get back to the word nationalist. Oh, there's, yeah. There's oh, a man. language, <laughs> language, language. There's a, there's a major difference because there's nationalist as in a people of a certain region. But nobody understands that word in that way anymore. No, Even though no that is That's the right. etymology of the word, when you read, I'm a, uh, when you read the Bible and you hear them talking about a nation, nation. they're always a, talking about the the Greek word is ethne, people group. They're never ethne, talking about the state. But that's not reality today. Whatever the no. the the etymology of the word nationalist, nationalists always implies state today. And, and yeah, play by state exactly. But compared back then, they were either they could have been nomads. Um, uh, I mean, the the Israelites were nomadic for a while, and they were a nation. That's a nation. Yeah, they're a nation. Um, there's still a, there's a nation. There's a Jewish nation that's that's dispersed throughout the world. It's still a Jewish yeah. nation. It's a stateless yeah, it's Jewish nation. nation, right? And that's what the word really means. And also, they can uh, uh, well um, not. I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what the word meant. But that's what the, the word, word means meant. now is. Well, I, I won't say what the word means now. I'll say what the common we're... usage is. The common usage is it always implies, almost always implies a state. That doesn't mean that some people, like I can use the word nation, and I understand for me nation, actually sometimes nation does mean state, and sometimes nation just means people group. But I understand in common usage, whatever the dictionary says, I don't care. What oh, I care yeah. is in common usage, if you say nation to somebody, they automatically, immediately think of... They don't even say the word state. State is just they think, implied. They think of nationalism. Nationalism. Right, right. There's a state. They think of World War One. Yeah, World War One, <laughs> World War Two, whatever. World War II. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's true. People don't think about it that way at all. And, and also, it's weird if you think about it. The nations back then, some of the nations that were nomadic, they were not really about worried about multiculturalism as they were traveling into different people's cultures no, and that, stuff when they were nomadic. No, 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 they, they were they were preserving their culture with a death grip, with a yeah. freaking oh, yeah, yeah. death grip. It's like, oh, you, you you're not gonna marry somebody outside of the death grip. You're not that's gonna true, do it, true. right? They held They'll on. stone you. Yeah, they had rules and they were intense about it. But also, there was people that if it if it was too intense, there was also runaways and stuff like that back in the. Back oh yeah, there the, still are. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes well, there's always there's... marginal people. There's always, and those marginal people are usually the ones that will cross over, that will create hybrids and combinations and whatever. It's the marginal people usually that are the first to lead the way towards creating a new. What 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 might possibly become a new people group? Right. Uh, right. Yep. It's usually the marginal people. It's not the secure people. <laughs> no. The secure people. I ain't, I ain't going down there. No man. No man is good in in Jewish well, nation I'm world. Man. Here, man. No, I ain't no no man. No, 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 talking about no, 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 no mixing with no I, over I, there, man. I, mixing with them brownies. No way, man. Mixing with them brownies, man. I like my rice krispies, white man. 
I like the brown. I like the brown. I like cocoa krispies actually. Thank you. Well, I have a white rice krispie, and I'm very happy with that white rice krispie. <laughs> I'm just gonna, but not because she's white, because of other things. But... Oh, you're not talking about cereal. No, I'm oh, not. Sh- I'm talking about oh, Pilates, buddy. Oh, I thought we were being cereal here. Pilates. Oh, my dad. Oh, my dad would beat me over the head with that. Are you cereal? <laughs> ah, you say that one more time. I will bludgeon you in your sleep. But I never did. I never did bludgeon him <laughs> in his sleep. Because I'm <laughs> decent. <laughs> because I'm decent. And I reject nationalism. Well, I do. You know, what I noticed, you know what I noticed, too, lately? Um, and I think be, uh, ANCAPs, or some ANCAPs, I'm not going to say all, uh, some ANCAPs are trying to redefine who they are, saying ANCAP nationalist. Have you seen that? Yeah. Uh, uh, and again, you know. It's a mixing different uh, two things or something. It's weird. They're just fucking. Who, uh, who, who are the people group that they're identifying with? I want to know. If they're not talking about a state nationalism, what people group are they identifying with? Are they going to say it's white? What is white? There is no white nation, folks. No freaking no. white nation. There's no the white. French, the, the French nation, if we're using the word to mean people group, the French nation is very, very different than the English nation. As a matter of fact, oh, yeah. the English nation and the French nation, they don't even like each other, okay? What about, I'm gonna, I what, I'm gonna end what up about Basque? <laughs> what about the Basques? Yeah. Where do they fit in? They're like some weird hybrid. What What the heck are they? Nobody, genetically, they don't make sense. That's in my blood, actually. <laughs> so you, well, that makes sense. That actually makes I'm Basque, sense. I'm yeah. The fact oh, that you have Bosque in you Bosque makes African. sense. Bosque and African, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, oh. that absolutely oh. makes sense. That, but they don't make sense genetically. They don't fit into any neat group. Oh. So good luck with that. Yeah, not in Europe for sure. They're like out, off the wall kind of genes, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's these weird groups that that totally uh, change the paradox. You know, like the Berbers, the Barbers, whatever in uh, the Berbers, the Berber carpets, whatever they are in uh, in. Uh, in Africa, the Berbers or whatever they're called, uh, you know, they're 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 native Africans, and they're white, blue eyes, oh. blonde hair. They're not a European. What the heck are they? They're like they don't <laughs> fit neatly into any group. You know, you, you you people think that everything is neatly defined. It's not. It's a freaking spaghetti noodle mess, and I love it. I'm glad it's a spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Yeah, me, too. me too. I just that's had what, spaghetti together. As a matter of fact, spaghetti saved my life today. I was feeling totally crappy. I was that's like, what, "That's what ragu is all about." I even dropped an f bomb on Bodhi <laughs> on Facebook because I was feeling so bad earlier today. Yeah, and spaghetti so saved happy. my life. Spaghetti saved there. my life. Mom's spaghetti. I I ate a whole bunch of spaghetti. It's like, I feel better. I don't feel like killing anybody anymore. Well, maybe just a little. But not not, not like on the surface. Like I mean, everybody always feels like that. So when, we, when we go to My Little Pony Fest, I'll make sure I stock up on some spaghetti. That's a good move. <laughs> that is a real good move. You're feeling a little cranky there, buddy. You look like you might kill someone. How's the spaghetti? I'll just, I'll just stuff a handful of spaghetti ah. in your face. So, <laughs> poor Ty. <laughs> so, so, yeah, Ty. Can yeah. you guys call me back? You guys are cutting out again, I guess. Is that fine or no? You, you seem fine for us. Yeah, you're fine for us. We hear you. But can you hear us? If you can't hear us, then hang up and call back. It cuts right. in and out. I can hear stuff. Let, oh, let, it says connecting now. And, on my and... thing. Connecting. Connecting. Do I have any questions? What is this all about? Conspiracy what? Garden, this is he's, all about... He's pointing to the nation sent me. Hashtag the nation sent me. Oh, the nation sent me. Yes, that is... Okay, there was a Facebook that a page. TV show? No. That a TV show? No, no, no. There was this Facebook page. It was, a, it was a cop Facebook page. I don't remember the name of the cop uh. Facebook page. And they're posting their... They, they post this whiny post about, you think it's tough, you know, you do you like personal, you know... You whiny little citizens complaining, blah, blah, blah. And so a bunch of anarchists uh, came on there. We and like, signed up to kick your ass. And the anarchists came on there and they started giving them like one ratings on their Facebook page. And then these people started showing up to give them five ratings and like tell us all to go to Somalia. And the hashtag they used was the nation sent me. 
So I actually think that that police department got a bunch of white supremacists to come and help them save their Facebook page rating. Save their image right there. Right. I heard Somali on Facebook page. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's all you really. That's all like... you need. Why don't you hang up and call back? Okay. Yeah. I call you guys. Uh, Bodhi will. Bodhi just... will call you. Hang up and Bodhi will call you back. Yeah. Okay. Here I'll. Yeah. While he's gone, let's make fun of him. I don't uh, really want to make fun of Ty. Ty's pretty cool. No, I love Ty. I know. You can't really make fun of Ty. If people want to make fun of Ty, you can fight me. People who make fun of Ty are going to have a bad day. If you want to make fun of Ty, you're going to have to make fun I know. I don't want to set myself up to be made fun of. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm an easy mark, man. There's, there's, oh, oh, and there we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen. You think you're welcome. an easy mark? Have you gone through my Facebook page? Oh, no, no, no. You're easier than me. I'm not saying yeah, you're not I'm an easier easy. mark, I'm but out I'm there. still an easy until, mark. And Ty until, is back! Until, <laughs> I, until my dick pics get I can hear now. I'm an easy target. Oh, what? I do look like a giant, Chris, because I am a giant. I'm a giant in spirit. So, <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris noted here that Paul looks like a giant. I think it's because oh. it's, it's my it's 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 the energy and the vibe and. He's a gentle giant. He's big. I am a gentle <laughs> giant. He's a gentle. Maybe I'm gonna move the logo so people can see it. Better. Oh, the logo is pretty cool where it is, man. But okay, whatever. I just moved it to. I just moved it to the middle. I don't see it now. Yeah, I am stuck in the middle. Oh, you. there it goes. There it goes. Hi, hi, everybody. So, hi. so I, I'm, I'm gonna say to you, Ty. I'm gonna say this up front. I think that you are still hung up very religiously. On language, on definitions. Yep. He is. He's in the closet a little bit about it, I though. Do. I do. I do. Well, I I understand the concept of fluctuation, but the thing is, when uh, I I use I will use certain terms very strongly because the ANCAPs are very strong about it, so I fight against them about, on the subject, and they will See? keep going until they stop doing that. This is capitalist. So right. I, I won't. I oh, oh I'm not. I'm not saying that they don't do the same thing they because they do. They're but, they're but, just as as language fanatic as you. Absolutely. What I'm yeah. saying, but what I'm saying is what well, I think what Paul might even agree with. Maybe we'll see what happens when see. Let's see what comes just out of my say mouth it first. And see what happens. Um, is is that it's fighting a battle that you cannot possibly win. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's yeah. my point. Yes, you're exactly. wasting. You're wasting. It's like wasting. It's it's wasting your energy when you could be so much more creative doing something else. Yeah, what I do in the street, what I do, like even other people, if, no matter where social network works or wherever, um, I, if it, they're not like like crazy cappies and, and they say certain words, I don't even trip on that, really, too right. much with other people in reality. If you see my conversations with different other individuals, I'll be like, yeah, yeah. I'll even share some ANCAP stuff, right, or capital that says capitalist things just to give people an idea. But the thing is, when you come at me or some people come out – so strongly about this is capitalism and everything free is capitalism. I go, then I'm going to challenge you with words then. I'm going to challenge you with the words what? I use that can represent freedom. And I'm going to push it in your face like you push it in mine. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you challenge the, like, ask, what, what is the definition of capitalism to them? And I mean, if, and just if, find other words. Find other just words. Just find other to words. Talk. Words that you can mutually agree to. Like, like, I mean, certainly when you're talking to a state of on state base and they say capitalism and I'm a capitalist and they're like, okay, great. So then you, you agree that no, no, no regulation of markets whatsoever. Wow. Wow. Let's talk a crazy here. Oh, okay. So then if you define capitalism as free market, you're not a capitalist. Now, if capitalism is what you say it is, then capitalism is not the free market. Pick one. Yeah. And also sometimes I say – also sometimes I ask when people say, oh, I'm a capitalist. I go, what do you mean? The market actor or the political idea of it? <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, and, and that's It's confusing point. because it really means a market actor in the free market in reality. But it's like capitalist. So who's – it's like when somebody says I'm a capitalist, like say they were living at a certain time. If they say, oh, I'm a capitalist, they wouldn't even think that you were thinking of political ideology. They'll just think, oh, you're a capitalist. You're an investor. <laughs> You you're know, you're you're one you of the or you're a bank. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. You're 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 one of the the, the men or women, mostly men, yeah. but uh, of means who has the capital yeah, exactly. to invest and uh, 
and has the protection of the government, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, I, well, I hate uh, I hate uh, to uh, say it. Don't don't necessarily need that, but that's how it is in these times, you know. Um, and this not one, all capitalists really agree with state stuff too, you know. Capital. I'm talking about capitalist market actors though. Yeah, which are mainly men. And if you notice, yeah. if you, I'm dead serious. If you notice, most of the women that support capitalism in in that in that crazy and cappy state Yvonne state face kind of cappy vibe, yeah. they're misogynist as well. They are yeah, they are strictly anti-feminist. They are strictly anti-left, and they are literally following their men. Yes, Watch them change their relationships and they change their economic policy. Mm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I noticed the strong misogynistic um, thinking ways of that. I, I, like, I can understand that being against feminism here in the U.S. Um, uh, Look at Paul's he, face. <laughs> <laughs> what What about my face? I'm, I'm actually listening. You're just looking at me like. No, no, I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, actually. I uh, kind of yeah. found oh. this. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm no, also no. totally agree. Okay. Yeah. Actually, actually, I agree how they're against feminism here in the U.S. because they're it's a losing battle already. Where they don't have nothing else to really fight so much. All they got to do is fight the state now, along with the anarchists, right? right. Um, that's all there's left. Uh, um, they already got a lot of women's rights coming out and everything, but there's a lot of rights that are gone from the state for both men and women here in the U.S. But with feminism, like in other countries, like the Middle East or everything, it's needed there. I really like. Uh, I don't. I I defend feminism for females' rights and more freedom. Right. But here in the U.S., um, the hate with some of the people is a little bit too strong, and it looks very sexist and misogynistic, actually, and it's it's kind of going too far with the men on some how some men um, talk about it in a way. Right. They're right. Ride, they're riding the attention wave, basically. If, yeah. if, if feminism really is a recognition that that uh, people should be recognized based on the merit of their ability, whether they're male or female, great. But that and and that's the technical definition of feminism. But that's but not how it's that's, used anymore. That's not how it's used. That's not how it's practiced. And invariably, it calls upon state actors to enforce its beliefs on others. I can't support that in any way, shape, or form. It's like even the men's movement. I don't really have much to say about the men's movement either. Because of the they same thing. Too. They're appealing to the state. Yeah. They're appealing to Menin authority. Meninism. Meninism. Yeah, I, I, I got nothing for Meninism. either side of that argument. Where the Fuck did Meninism come from? But but certainly I am for recognizing that an individual should be assessed based on the abilities, the character that they display in front of you and not on whatever tribe you have assigned them to or that they may yeah. assign themselves. Basically to. what can, basically what people the question people need to be asking themselves when dealing with other in other individuals, what can this person do for me? Oh yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's it. That's it. That's what it. What can this individual do for me? That's it. Yeah, that's, that's a horrible question, question to ask in the West, though. Because in yeah. the West, okay. we're, we should be altruistic. We should be asking yeah. what we could yeah. do for them. No, 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 no. No, if you actually ask what they could do for you, you're probably more likely to come to an honest assessment of who they are and what they are based on their yeah. merits rather than the tribe that they belong to. Yeah, it's kind of, it's an egoistic thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm I, I lean towards I'm I'm not fully I won't say that I'm fully in the egoistic camp. It's good. I'm oh, actually oh, I see. Uh, I'm more in the stoic You're camp, but Paul Versian. I was I'm a, a natural law guy. Now I'm like sense of ego. I'm a Paul Versian. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a speech in uh the uh the Mi Michigan Peace and Liberty Fest uh this uh June twenty second, whenever it is, Sunday. And uh uh, my speech is about power. It's, it's about the reality of power being the really the only authentic governance between human beings, and how yeah. key it is to recognize that reality and what power is. And, but anyway, so yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for realistic assessment of the reality around you, such as such as you can understand it within the limitations <laughs> of human capacity, which is yeah. quite quite limiting. Basically, what I want to talk about is going to be how to employ yourself, and I don't mean job-wise. I'm gonna—it's gonna be a bit of a twist. What a twist! 
What it's did gonna we... be a twist. I'm gonna Bodie the hell out of it. I wish Ty oh, was shit. coming to to the Liberty Fest thing, man. That would be so cool. Uh, oh, it's gonna be awesome. But you're I'm not. Try, I'm trying to you really suck. play it up. I want to get more people there. I want to have this big speech in front of thousands of people and just have the crowd cheering. Bodie, <laughs> Bodie. Oh shit. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna be filming <laughs> it. So, I'm Bodie's gonna be filming my speech and I'm gonna be filming his speech. So we're gonna be filming each other. It's gonna be a mutual use of factory relationship. Use, use of fuckery. Use of fuckery. And it'll be no, great factory. if you guys can make it to Jackalope though. Too. Seize... You guys can go on stage there too. We're gonna seize the memes. We're gonna seize the seize. memes. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna seize, seize the memes. memes. So I mean, <laughs> when I see your con your post, it's like. Ty, I, I, I think I know what you're doing on your Facebook, but you're definitely an agent provocateur. And uh, I like, I see your <laughs> I post, and I'm like, nah, I'm not, why, I'm not, I'm not waiting in. I'm just gonna watch from the periphery and see whose head explodes, because yeah. somebody's oh. head is gonna explode from a Ty post. But it, it, to me, it does seem <laughs> like you are, you're within a paradigm where. Uh, and and maybe I have to look at more uh, how you do what you do or why you do what you do, but it does seem like you're in this paradigm of language, and you're very restricted within the framework of of definitions, rather than getting to the heart of well, what does this person what is their when they say capitalism what do they what do they really mean when they say communism what do they really mean when they say uh -huh. anarchist what do they really mean. And you, you're like, okay, this is what the word means. This is the etymology. This is this. This is so. This is when you say this word, it's like I see you engage in fights over definitions of words. <laughs> and and you can't win those. You can't. And you can't because, because it's, it's totally, totally arbitrary. It's yeah. totally arbitrary. It I like is. I like the arguments because um, it makes people think of something they haven't thought about before, and also if they do end up reading something, they're now aware of it. That's why I like these type of arguments too. But that's such a small. I don't know. I mean, I well, get um, because that's... I seen it. I'll tell you something. Six months ago, I seen people manipulating, saying, "Oh, if you read the oh, um, old books from the le libertarian left, they're being tricky." And blah blah blah, talking about free market and everything. But look, they're promoting socialism, and they were using that word a lot. So six months ago, I started getting strongly about what it really means and what they're trying to say. And so I started attacking. I think it was longer than six months ago, but I then at that point, because before I wasn't doing that, because I was talking about left libertarian for like years. Um, you can even see like from my past hmm. posts uh, um, on my Facebook. But like, um, but since the six, a few months since this last year, I got really strong about it. Because there was a lot of people helping even outright situations saying this people are tricky because they don't want people to understand free market aspects from a lot of individuals. And, and they were they were just making it people trapped minded and are cornering them into Hoppe. And it's not fair. Uh, yeah. to me it's not fair. You can't corner people to read one book. You need to oh, open the, people to the free market ideologies and free market theories, uh, multiple theories. The, well, can, yeah. the canon of the great An ANCAP gods. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't go down that route. Well, Papa <laughs> said, well, uh, Rothbard said. Papa. You know what? I would hear Papa's your words. Papa's not the lord of anarchy, dude. No, no, I, would honestly, <laughs> I would honestly prefer if every – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shock everybody. Yeah. Take all your books – all your history, all your dictionaries, and burn them. No, I don't oh, agree shit. with Bodhi. I don't agree with you. <laughs> I don't agree with you at all. <laughs> no, I'm well, I don't like fascism if you force no, no, them to. Voluntarily take the history of human knowledge and fucking burn the library of Alexandria to the fucking ground. It, it, it pull got your heads burned. out of your asses it, it and burned. start writing again. No, That's I totally crazy. disagree with Bodhi. There's conversations uh, that are going on that are thousands of years old. Don't nuke the conversations. Yeah, That's like even cool. Ryan stuff, even like different or just different. Yeah, don't, a lot of don't stuff nuke. Is good. Oh, Burn Bodhi, it all. Bodhi's hitting the sauce, so it's going <laughs> to no, be all downhill from here. I think I understand what he's saying, though, because this is what I used to be, say a lot of times. I. I uh, have not been saying this for a while, but I used to do this about two years ago. I used to say, be your own philosopher. Be your yeah. own theorist. Um, what, um, wait, wait. Let's, rewrite, let's rewrite stuff. Let's, let's think again. Let's sit in this round table again together. Why let's do we just have, let's not be restricted by history. I, I am not at all interested in jettisoning the thoughts and uh, contributions 
of millions upon millions of people in all of their forms. I'm not for that. But I am for owning your own thoughts. Understanding uh. why it is that you believe. Not just because Rothbard said it. And I don't think that you have to burn books to get to the level to say, why do I believe what I do? As a matter of fact, it's one of the things that drives me crazy about my life. It's like, it's a, it's not fun. It's not a fun life to choose to say, I am going to look at my beliefs and say, why do I believe what I believe? And uh, I'm not going to base it on, well, Rothbard said this or Jesus said this or whatever. I'm not, I, I want to know. Okay, my mom told me this. No, why do I believe that? Why do I believe that's true? If you do that, you don't have to jettison the books. Life isn't fun. Well, yeah, it, life. It, it can well, be at times. Can write it. it can be if you burn all the books. No, you don't need to burn <laughs> all the books. No. Oh, shit. No, if you burn all the books, what you're saying is, I am a coward. I am afraid to face no, what other people have said. That's the opposite. Said. I can burn them all and be like, I'm not a coward. I'll figure it all out again. No. No. What you're saying is only I matter and only, no. only my thoughts matter. No. And I, I, my no. thoughts, what I express, what I What I'm saying is that in the moment. All of that burned. What I'm saying is what's Maybe more important cool is the conversation we can have now with your current understanding and your current whatever you have in your head now is far more important than whatever's I, in a fucking I, book. I, I can't undo the contributions that others have made to the thoughts that are in my head. You can't. You've I can't. already built upon them. We already have the technology. I, I will never I it, will never it, be able fun. to undo that. And I don't want to, actually. I'm not saying to. undo it. I'm just saying burn all the books. No, don't do that. Yeah, he's saying more at a mental um uh, level of letting go everything and having conversations of liberty uh, and be our own like i was saying earlier yeah, you can like, have that without burning books philosophers yeah you yeah. can have that without burning books you stand in your own ideas instead of saying well rothbard said no no i want to know what you said and why uh -huh. don't tell me yeah. rothbard i don't mean yeah, you we got read rothbard great that's great i'm no problem go ahead read rothbard i've by the way guess how much <laughs> i've read of rothbard no sip zero i've actually yeah i, I know more about the economic philosophers just from the idiots that argue about it. Oh, oh shit. The, the, the things That's that what I've... I've learned from. I haven't actually read it I, I, have, I haven't actually read it for myself. I've actually just gone off of what people are saying about it and gone, you're a fucking idiot. Well, I'm about <laughs> ready to read a book right now. I'm, about, I'm ready to dive into a book right now, and it's called uh... What is Burn the, name the books, of this? Fahrenheit 451. It's called Chaos, <laughs> and it's by James uh, Gleick. And uh, oh, I, wow. it's it's uh, it's basically intended to show you how thinking compartmentally, uh, which is the way we mostly think, uh, uh that it that it traps you, and it, it prevents you from fully uh, exploring the world in, in well, more. That's like that, uh, the biological, um, what was it? What's that? That's that seminar thing I shared. This is where I got it from. That guy recommended yeah. this book and I'm like, I, I bought the, the book. Categories. The, I, I, I bought the, the book. Yes. Eliminate the buckets. You eliminate don't have to think the, buckets. the buckets. Now I don't think that you should aware eliminate the buckets. the buckets. Be aware of the buckets. Yeah, be I aware don't... of the usefulness of the buckets. But don't be so hung up on the buckets because you'll miss the bigger picture. So I'm uh. about ready to read this book that somebody wrote, uh, you know, decades ago. And I'm, but I'm not going to be owned by the book. And Ooh, the I book thought... is not going to be like, I'm not going to read the book and say, this is the gospel of the book. And I'm going to take what this thing says and run with it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at this book and like, oh, well, that makes sense. Well, why does that make sense? Well, let me explore. Why does that make sense? Oh, well, maybe it doesn't make sense. I'm uh, it, just reading a book in and of itself doesn't mean that the book owns me. And I think that's what you're talking about, Bodhi. You're talking yeah. about ideas and thoughts owning you, taking possession right. of you, where you cling to those thoughts and ideas rather than uh, finding thoughts and ideas that are actually useful to you. I that, think that I, actually... triggered, I, I triggered Chris Fulmer. How did what? you trigger Chris? <laughs> but what about people who have never been exposed to the books? What do you have? Doesn't it mean they do? 
Don't destroy and throw all that away. If they oh, wrong, she... you can I... swear not to go. I like what Jared said. Jared, you're funny. I like it. It's Jared not, a, French. not a literal burn, though. J I don't think that's what he was saying. <laughs> Jared says, can we get rid of taxation first? <laughs> and then we get to discuss, discuss the book the thing. That's yeah. awesome. Well, I am maybe, with you, brother. Maybe we burn all those books first. Let's burn all the law books. I'm okay with that. Burning <laughs> Burn all, all the, the law, law books, books is perfectly fine by me. Okay, Let's... so yeah, we can start. We can. Well, start. that's yeah. the books that we can start with. They're all like, yeah, I got a problem. I got a problem. Yeah, yeah, I, I get you. Burn away, baby. Aaron Benny commented. Who? Why learn anything when you can be ignorant? Who? Who said that? He, Aaron Bennett. Oh my gosh, oh, Aaron shit. Brennan wandered back into the world? Oh! Aaron! Aaron. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while, man. Oh, I'm not the first person. Hey, Aaron, he books. blocks me, man. <laughs> Wait. He, 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 yeah, I mean, blocked, Tommy and blocked me. I was wasting too much time on him. <laughs> Aaron, I guess I'm blocked because I can't see Aaron in the comments. Oh. Or I blocked uh, Aaron, I can't remember. Probably blocked Aaron. This is great. This is great. That's the best triggering word ever. I'm going to start using that. Burn all the books. And just to start <laughs> that conversation. Fuck, that's great. They're going to start saying you're a fascist and stuff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> even the alt-right will say it and shit. So yeah, yeah. Even the alt-right will be like, you're a Nazi. <laughs> even yeah. the alt-right. Richard Spencer is going to call you up and say, dude, seriously, you're a Nazi. You're not <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's what's going to happen. So. Hey, do you want to have some tea? I, I like your thinking. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. You never know. Burn all the books on the And then Jared. Jared brings up a valid point. Trigger. Then where do we look up the word trigger? Right? Where do we? Yeah. How, okay. What if I just say burn all the dictionaries? Ooh. Okay and then you that. have to figure out the meaning of words from context. From conversations and well, stuff. Well, that'd be weird. That'd be weird. <laughs> That'd be weird. Because then you'd have to try to understand each other instead of hiding behind dictionary definitions. Ooh. Oh, burn! <laughs> oh, books burn themselves. Oh, burn! They burn themselves. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think we want to like give up the whole show uh, theme. We've gone about an hour at one, one hour and one minute. One hour, one minute, 11 seconds. 12 seconds, 13 seconds. This is intense. There's a lot of pressure here to continue to say something that's funny. Andrew, <laughs> oh. it that you don't read, why burn them? Are they hurting you because others do read and that hurts you and must be that? Yeah, just Who burn them. That? Fine. Who said that, Aaron? That's Aaron. Aaron, I'm, you're blocked. <laughs> I can't see you, sorry. Miriam Webster is rolling in her grave. And the Jared reason... Webster is a he, not a she. I bet Miriam Webster was hot. Oh this yeah, and Miriam Webster actually was a devout Christian. So wow, oh, wow, I, yeah, wow, that explains everything. Okay, <laughs> now you're trying to trigger me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Who haven't I not triggered? Triggered the old Paul over there. Let me just uh, 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 me advocating to burn all the books is me saying, hey, let go of the books. A little bit. Yeah, nice. I'm I'm for let go of the books. I just don't think that by let go of the books I'm you need to walk away. From go around them. with a burninator and burn your books. You're Fahrenheit 451, dude. You're the villain in Fahrenheit 451. I am. I'm just trying to get where buddy. That's a great book, by the way. Ray Bradbury yeah. is awesome. But the book I'm thing is meaning that we can come up with our own meanings. We don't have to be restricted to the past. That's all it is. I'm not actually advocating to burn all the books. I love books. I have lots of books. I've read a lot of books. I also, you can also challenge, you know, ANCOMs if you understand even their ideology too, you know, because ANCOMs get uh, off also and they actually have residue from the status paradigm of communism also if you look at it closely. It's not just the ANCAPs too. Um, the, the, oh shoot, I can't hear you guys. Are you guys froze? Yeah, we're here. Oh, I'm here. We're here. Oh, cool. We're just okay. quiet. We're let you speak oh, for once. Yeah, and and um, you can actually challenge because you can see that um, if you use all the voluntary aspects of their ideologies, and you can challenge anybody. I mean, that's what the agora is about. Even Samuel Cockin talks about these things. And the reason why, also, why um, we're on the agora right now. 
on the yeah. Agora. This yeah. is the real and, Agora. Yeah. yeah. And the reason why he he didn't even like using the word capitalism yeah. because of he used his, he has this definition for it. But the reason why he didn't want to use the word capitalism because he literally said, if people use that term, they will have a political identity with the status right. Political identity with the status right. Even if you became anarchist or Mar Rothbard style, you will go back to minarchism or back to government reality because of that term. Has he? Um, creates a political identity for a lot of people. And, I, I'm, and that's I'm, why he changed the re uh, wording to agorism. We're totally something beyond the two. And I'm going to agree with you there. I remember uh, when I was uh, still in Steady Von State Face World, I followed a page that was like, I think it was just called Capitalism or something like that. Well, it was actually an ANCAP. Das Kapital? No, it was actually an ANCAP page. <laughs> but I didn't even know what ANCAP was at the time. And I remember, I uh, when I saw that word capitalism, I associated that with their part of my tribe. Their part of the conservative state of on state face tribe. Although when it said state of on state face at the time, and and then they started to spouse some stuff that I now agree with. But at the time, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa! How could you be a capitalist and be a commie at the same time? Because they're like. Saying stuff like uh, gets the military and ooh, triggers. And I, I had followed that page. <laughs> like, I had followed it hard. And, and, and it's because it brought me in with the word capitalism. And yep. honestly, when I believe that uh, uh, when most people use the word capitalism, and I'm not talking about the ANCAPs. I'm not going to speak what they really mean or what they don't mean. But that word capitalism, to the vast majority of people, they'll tell you that it means free market. But they're lying. It doesn't. That's not what it means to them because they don't they don't accept a free market. A free market is an yeah. unadulterated, unmolested market. And they don't advocate for that. They advocate for like, well, you know, who's going to prevent the restaurants from poisoning us? regulation oh you're not a capitalist then by your own definition you're not a capitalist so again like i said earlier yep. you come back to that you are either not a capitalist by your own definition or capitalism the word that you're using you're really not advocating for a free market and that's not what capitalism is no yeah and, and then also um if you see now what happened to a lot of the ANCAPs? He got infiltrated by the right because of that political identity. And then people started getting into voting again, promoting Trump because they're capitalists. But that's political identity. It has nothing to do with a pure anarchistic ideology. And that's why Samuel Edward Cocken was saying we need to stay away from these type of terms to protect the ideology of, of liberty. Um, so he was going down to the level of, of – internality the way the mind the human mind was thinking in the particular present paradigm also yeah and i i, I i'm like because he was really against minarchism he was against the libertarian party I, and he was against these terms because he wanted to promote a full movement of uh, a full full movement forward of anarchism and liberty but he Ooh. used the word left libertarian so why does he mm -hmm. use that phrase "left libertarian," which has its own political connotations? We we have yeah. a we have a commenter's definition of capitalism, which actually proves our point. Okay, go ahead, commenter. Uh, capitalism, an economic political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state equals free fucking markets. But you've just defined a non-free market. You've because you said it's controlled <laughs> by private owners. So it's controlled not a free private, market. It's not a free fucking market. But, but yeah, even at that, that your definition is a private in, Your entity, own definition just detonated. State. I mean, if, yeah. if, if you want to say, yes, I believe in free markets. I believe in markets that are totally unmolested. I'm with you there, brother. I'm totally yeah, with you there. I'm right there. But, but when you yeah. want to talk about the word capitalism in its common parlance, it's not in practice what you said there. It's not. It's it's yeah, it's got not, statism yeah. all over it. It's got regulations, it's got protections, it's got all kinds of stuff. You know, I mean, people use the word crony capitalism. No, yeah, there's yeah. no such thing. It's, it's capitalism. capitalism. <laughs> yeah. And you're getting so hung it's up on a word 
rather than why don't you just say, listen, I advocate for a free market, whatever you want to call about it. I personally like calling it the word capitalism. Great. More power to you, buddy. More power to you. I like, but, but, I but like calling the, it the Agora, the but open the, market of ideas. Yeah, Agora. You know, I like calling it, you know, bunny wizard unicorn butt. Bunny wuzzy funny you know? land. Yeah. Bunny unicorn wizard butt. That's what I like to call it. It doesn't matter. What matters is the yeah. intention behind your action, which is I advocate yeah. for a market which is unmolested Hold by on. restriction. I need to read this per the way it's written. The definition is absent the state, Paul. It's, it's not. The definition is what people say um, it is. And, and I'm not uh, saying that I prefer that definitions are that way, but that's just the nature of language. Well, what it is, is like it's privately owned and they completely control it themselves, but it's state protectionism. Like the Federal Reserve is a privately owned bank by capitalists, not the government. But it and wouldn't exist without government. What the government provides is state protectionism. So capitalism is free and it is privately owned. But what they're missing out is the state protectionism behind that. And that is, and the reason why it was called capitalism a lot, uh, wow, you know, it was called capitalism because the capitalist class had control of the politicians and, and they, ha they had them in their pockets. That's straight up. And it is privately owned. Kind of straight. what they do now. Kind of That's what they do now. All, yeah. all of the big people using all the big capitalist words. Yeah. I mean, and cappers are such a tiny, tiny little drop. Insignificant. Insignificant. You're fighting yeah. over. See, that's, that's what I don't get, Aaron. You are fighting over a freaking word rather than ideas. Rather than yeah. saying, yeah, okay, yeah. great. I, for me, capitalism is this. Okay, if you want to say that's whatever capitalism is for you. What, what do, do we agree that we want a market which is unmolested by coercive action? We do. Yes. I think we do. Great. Great. We, we, we got some common uh, bond here. Why do we need to separate? Why do we need to have endless battles? Because I refuse to believe that capitalism is commonly used in the way that you so doggedly say it is. And I don't care what dictionaries say. I know that the vast majority of people who use that word capitalist are advocating for government regulation, market manipulation, state protectionism in yeah. one way, shape, or form. Yeah, Which, even Republicans. That's why we have to be careful of the voting thing. Yeah. And the political identity that's connected to it. So we have to truly pr um, promote a f fully free market and really get out of that political uh, arena and say, fuck commies or fuck cappies. People got to snap out of it, get into the agora, and let go of these words because these words is going to continue the freaking cycle. Yeah, that's just why let go. I, I, I just why, let go. Like, like, I think that our show is actually going to be, I hope, that as we explore more topics and we go deeper down the rabbit holes, I hope that we, 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 we deconstruct the myth of left and right. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, the whole point. Yeah, that's yeah. A, it's like you know. That's why we got rid of the freaking colors. Yeah, that's why we got rid of the colors. It's open action, baby. Open action. Yeah, it's against all of this coercion. It's against all of this colored flag shippiness. It's against. Although, although don't get me wrong, if you want to have a flag, as long as you're not being coercive about it, if you want to, if you're an and prim, if you're an and com, if you're an and cap, whatever the freaking hyphen you want to be, that uh, oh, I, oh. I, I'm all for variety and 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 diversity. That's I got nothing against you if you want to live in a hyphenated world. But you have to recognize that the outside of the hyphenated world, there's also this larger world where there's a whole bunch of people who who fundamentally agree that they don't want market markets regulated by course of action, who fundamentally agree that they don't want human action regulated by course of action. Yeah. And it's yeah. a much bigger tent than you're saying it is. Yeah. Yeah. And also, like, if you look at some amprims, I, I consider, like, certain Indians from South America amprims. They don't call themselves that, but they're anarcho-primitives, right? Um, no government, uh, nothing. They're the Yanomami Indians, and their land is literally getting invaded by oil companies and stuff, and they're claiming that there's no ownership there. It's like, how do you know? Because it's not on a piece of paper? Because the egoist will tell you it don't have to be on a fucking piece of contract for, to, for that ownership to be claimed by these individuals, you know? Um, uh, uh, and these are amprims. And, uh, and also, uh, 
people get confused when they're trying to defend capitalism in the status paradigm, think, thinking like, well, it's not owned. It can go through there or they have done this and they looked at that. And it, it's like, no, that, that doesn't even count. You have to look at everything, everything. And who's the people there? I don't care if you're modern, primitive or what. You have to understand there's people living there um, performing labor in those trees and those grounds also. And that labor creates that ownership also. And well, you know, that's how I look at it. That's just uh, my yeah. thoughts on it. Yeah. And I don't believe in ownership. I believe in power, but I believe in uh, ownership standards as a preferred way of. Uh, I understand convention. I get, I understand convention for the purpose of ease of communicating certain things. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. And and I understand standards like property standards. We, I'm totally one hundred. We have to agree on standards. that before there's any valuable fucking conversation. If we can't agree on that, if we can't agree on some kind of standard ground, then there's a bigger problem that we need to solve. Yeah, but instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to fight to the death over the definitions of words rather than the intention. Like, what is it that uh, we really, really want? And let's stay away from. I won't say let's stay away from. I don't want to say that, but, 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 but the more that we gravitate towards certain words and phrases that have historical and highly regimented uh, implications to them, ramifications, whatever you want to call it, the less we're going to be able to actually figure out. Well, what, 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 what do you really want? And okay, do you really want what I want? Because I, I think I'll tell you what I want, but I really want. You're going to be surprised at how many people that you think are in your camp when you really get down to once you strip away the religious uh oh uh, the religious doctrine around the words that you're 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 throwing at each other you're going to find out that this, the people don't necessarily want exactly what you want and you're going to oh. be surprised at the people that you think belong to a camp that's your enemy that actually want very similar things to what you want Hey Paul he's he's got us what, oh, we, oh, he's got us. We're done. If we if we can't agree on truth, then there is no conversation. Well, what is truth? <laughs> what, what, what does that mean? What truth is he talking about? A word what, truth? What, or who the who truth was the arbiter of truth? Ideas. Aaron Bennett. Yeah. Who is this the arbiter is, of this truth? Is, Aaron belongs to this camp of people that uh, they believe that they can absolutely understand. I, I mean, I believe in absolute truth. I just don't believe that we can absolutely know it. He believes that he has some sort of inside knowledge on what absolute truth is, on what the definitions of words are. And it's like language Language is a human construct, dude. It's, it's not science. It's not physical law. It's it's a freaking human construct. So by its very definition, it's subjective. Now, if you wanna if you wanna effectively communicate with people, you're going to have to find some shared subjective standards so that you can communicate. And that's the best that you can do when it comes to language. Shared subjective standards. And you know what? Capitalism is a word that does not have shared subjective standards. Because Aaron, you're representing a definition of capitalism, which isn't actually being practiced by the overwhelming majority of people who consider themselves capitalists. Yeah, and that's the political problem. identity that's connected that's to it also. Right. Yeah, the political identity that's connected with that word is a risky part of, of a lot of also. I mean, same thing with the word communism. Um, Samuel Edward Cocking will, will call him Marxoids, you know, but he defended socialism, you know. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. I, I po he posted what is truth. Don't misrepresent me. And he copy and pasted the law of identity. What does that mean? <laughs> the he, law of identity. <laughs> okay, hyphenated. Sorry, you meant to say reality. Things either are, things either, things are either what they are or what they're not. There is no in between. The law of identity, P equals P. The law of contradiction, P is not non-P. The law of exclusion, okay, I'm, either I'm P not, or non-P. I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not it's going a fucking to... joke. It's no. a fucking joke. It's a cop out. It's 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 again. It's this religious uh, adherence to yeah. this dogmatic saying that this is the way it is and it can't be anything else because my understanding is perfect. I'm sorry, yeah, your understanding is not. Yeah, because that because it's a great way to create division between people when you do that very harshly. You know, I bet you anything. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, it is the I mean, best way to create division. And Aaron Bennett wants to yep. define the, the law. What, what's it called? The law of identity? Okay, you tell oh, me what the freak capitalism is in practice. Uh, the, the vast majority of people who use the word ca- I mean, it's a word. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a phonetic utterance that has, if you're talking about the English language, it has symbols that produce in the mind through, through tra- training, through custom, a certain phonetic sound. That's all it is. It's yes. nothing else. The it, laws of, he goes, the laws of logic are a joke? Yes. I, that, that, that's a straw man argument. I'm not in any way. Sh- Actually, I'm not saying the laws of logic are a joke. I'm saying that you are trying to apply the laws of logic in an area where the laws of logic have nothing to fucking say. Nothing <laughs> whatsoever. The laws of logic have nothing to say about the arbitrary guttural sounds and symbols of human beings. If you want to effectively communicate with one another, you have to have some level of shared subjective standards. That's the best Uh thing you can do. Logic has nothing to say about that. Yeah. Logic can only say what is logical or not logical. Logic right. cannot say what is right or wrong. Now, you must apply subjective value to logic in order to determine what is right or wrong through logic. Now, and it's you... a horrible way of determining right and wrong. Now, once you settle on these subjective standards of what this word means and what that word means, okay, then logic starts to enter in. But logic doesn't start to enter in until you have that agreement of these subjective standards. Mm. So you mm-hmm. can't use logic to tell me that capitalism means what you say it means. That's absurd. And it's going to be hard to convince somebody that's been like a status <laughs> left, like a liberal or a progressive, to say this is what capitalism is. You're, you're going to have a fucking hard time. But if you talk to a, a, a status left saying this is what the left really promoted or what the left was going for and it got manipulated over time, they start to listen to you. Okay? If you go out, I'm a capitalist, you're not going to make connection only – only you're going to make connections only with Republicans, and I don't even know if you're going to convince them to be an anarchist because some of the – even anarchists went back to a fucking status paradigm in their head because of that identification with that word. Right, right. That word has <laughs> has powerful connotations. I, I mean just like I said earlier, you know, I was drawn to this capitalist page because of the word capitalist. As soon as they start talking about some anarchist stuff, I was like, commies, right <laughs> immediately, and I, and I left the building. I mean, you can deny the reality of su- the subjectivity of language all you want, but right. history and reality around you proves otherwise. It absolutely yeah. does. There is no physical laws. There's no mathematical formulas that define words. None. Yeah. None whatsoever. Yeah, that's true. They can always be used differently. They can always be used differently. And again, you know, you get into that. You know, do I want to effectively communicate with others? If I want to commu- effectively communicate with others, then I'm probably going to decide I'm not going to be totally arbitrary with my language. But I could decide yeah. I don't give a crap about communicating with anyone. And, and I we can, can just make go- up a whole other language that only I speak to bugger myself. Bugger. Yes. Hey, hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Bugger bugger bugger. And if you don't want to <laughs> communicate with me, then great. That's your language. Now, if you want to communicate with me, then we're going to have to try to develop some shared words that we yeah. kind of understand. But the problem is with the English language, I mean, there's a lot of words that, you know, by and large, we can all like, we already know. Like if I say dog, most people in the English speaking world have have an understanding of what a dog is. I mean, there's some nuances as far as what they think of when you say the word dog, but but generally speaking, we're on the right plane. But capitalism isn't one of those words. Capitalism right. is it's... one of those ethereal abstract terms, and ethereal abstract terms do not have the same level of certainty as the more utilitarian concrete words do. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. There's some words that have a very concrete and can't really change. But some words did change, like the word ass. Instead of being a donkey, it really started meaning, I guess, butt. But even something, even something like this. Is it scotch or is it whiskey? It's oh, it says it's Scotch-ski. blended scotch whiskey. It's scotch well, Which one is it? It has to be one or the other. Law of identity. It's yeah, I'm drinking. Ah! Yeah, I'm 
I'm not rejecting the law of identity. I'm just saying it doesn't apply to an abstract word that has different meaning for different people. There's no yeah. physical science. There's no math that defines what the word capitalism means. There None. is no authority. And especially when it has to deal with like the political arena. It's the, these words tend to have these fluctuations, I noticed, even um, within the political arena compared to other types of languages or circles, you know? And and that's the trickiness. That's how they yeah. trick people. That's how they get these movements going. Oh, interesting. Because I notice it's more in the political circles or political arena where these words go. So it, it fluctuates so much in, during time, different times. And, yeah, that, and, the, the abs- oh, see, Aaron Bennett just equivocated. He just equivocated. Jared French goes, yeah, the free market is better than capitalism. And yeah. Aaron Bennett goes, they are the same thing, Jared. Semantics. You just did what you're Semantics is what? What does that mean? Aaron Bennett is like the god and the pope of language. Doesn't exist, buddy. Buddy, that that position does not exist. Sorry. Even if you write the dictionary, you're just observing the common use of language. The the dictionaries are not like authority. They don't define the words for you. The people, dictionaries are the fruit of a oh. bunch of people that have gone out into the world and they're trying to understand the common use of certain words and phrases and then to relate the common use of certain word phrases. And they don't always get it right. That's the you thing. Weird? They don't even always get it right. Uh, and you know what's weird? Yeah, how you said there's certain words that will be kind of solid. The word free. Is always free, and then the word market is market because the market never was never really synonymous with the term capitalism and originalness. It, it doesn't matter what is what we think now, but uh, uh but that but the word market was not really synonymous with the word capitalism. That's what people need to even think about too. Free market, yeah. everybody knows what that uh, means. Automatic, no matter what, without even political identity. You know, it's, you're but not using every, 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 everybody so, sort right, of does. <laughs> everybody sort of does, but even that phrase "free oh. market" is is starting to be co-opted by statists who who don't really mean free market when they say it. So who knows where it'll be ten years from now? But you know, I made That's, this one observation. They say about, fair. I made this one observation about propaganda, the power of propaganda, and uh, what you do with uh, what you do with propaganda is. You pick a word, a word that say it has a very positive connotation, a very negative connotation. People are, I I think that there's more universal understanding of connotations than there are definitions. And so what you do is you, you don't change the connotation of the word. You just change the definition. It's like the word racism. And I, I've said this on a couple of other shows and it, it's like the best example. So if I'm yeah. repeating myself and you heard this before, whatever, I don't care. The word racism, yeah, racism yeah. is like this incredible negative connotation. They haven't changed that connotation, but the, the quote unquote left, the SJWs, whatever you want to call these folks, what they've done is they've changed the definition and they're working, they're competing with the right to change the definition of racism from you know, doing something that uh, uh, unfavorably to someone based on the color, you know, based on their race rather than the merit of their their action, their character, and they're changing that to uh, 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 only white, only uh, only white people are racist because they're the dominant culture. So they've entered this whole other level of of definition of racism that didn't exist before. And the right is over here like that's not the meaning of the word. Well, you know, the left is. Uh, they're, they're actually – they understand the malleability of language, so they're working on changing the definition but not the connotation because they want to demonize a certain group to uh, achieve whatever ends they want to achieve. And the right is over here. They're rigidly holding on to the definition rather than recognizing that there's a battle going on for the definition of that word and to say, okay, that's your definition. We reject that definition. This is our definition. That's it. It's like, oh, great, that's your definition. Okay, by your by your definition of racist, I am a racist by your definition. But you know what? By your definition, racist isn't a bad thing. Now, by my definition of racist, racist is a bad thing. And you're actually a racist. And, and fight for the marketplace of ideas rather than imagining that there's some sort of official or um, uh, arbitrary 
uh, a non-arbitrary uh, language god who will make the final decision on what racism it means. Perception is reality, and the left is working uh. to create the perception that this is what racism is without changing the connotation. Right. And if you understand that, dudes, if you understand that language is malleable, if you accept that language is malleable, you'll be much more effective at combating propagandists who mean to use language to to put people in coercive boxes. Yes, like in a corner. Right. Uh, yeah. Which they is, yeah. Uh, especially, yeah, you're right. Even the state is left. The state of left tends to do that um, kind of a bunch in a way. Um, oh, everybody yeah. does they, this. But the state is left. They're, they, they have the postmodernists. They have the linguists. They have freaking known Chomsky. They understand language theory. The right does not. Uh, <laughs> no, the left, they don't. They, 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 they embrace the reality of language and they use it ruthlessly. <laughs> to defeat the right over and over and over again. Because the right is over here. Why well, is the dictionary? It just says it. No, no. You know what? Screw the dictionary. This is what I say the word is. And you know what? If you think the word means this, if you want the word to mean this, you're a nerd. You're a geek. You're, and, you're a social you're pariah. Fucked. Yeah, you're, you're screwed. You know? You're screwed at that point because the vast majority just said, yeah. And that's what his, his little counterpoint here. Who cares if someone co-ops a word? If I start calling what? rocks lettuce, then lettuce does not become rocks. It can be. That it doesn't can. can be. It or can. It could can. be. It's it happened. Words it's change. Happened. It can be so, changed, literally changed, and be called rock for so long that we the call it rock. The yeah. Moon is rock no that <laughs> the moon is no longer made of cheese. The moon is no longer made of cheese, right. So, yeah, words change. And and some words were more malleable than others. And... And for, I mean, for the vast majority of words, you're talking about you know hundreds of years of uh, of of language evolutionary change. You know, we're not talking about uh, you know suddenly language is totally different. We're talking about a very slow process for the most part. Except you have these upheavals now and again, where suddenly there's a dramatic upheaval of language, where words suddenly dramatically change for for one reason or another. Like when the Normans invaded England. And all of a sudden, all these French words rushed into the English language. Like, in a short period of time, the English language went through this metamorphic change over a period of 100 to 200 years. All of a sudden, all these, all these French words changed English language fundamentally. I mean, those things happen, too. So Yeah, wow. You know, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I mean, we, we, we don't hold possession of, uh, of language. We, we don't own it. <laughs> no. You may no. own yourself, but you don't own language, Aaron. I, I like French words, actually. Uh, uh, I like the French. It, I it like feels French very language. anarchistic. You know, I don't know. Laissez-faire, anti-fascista. You know, I don't know, like, certain words. <laughs> I just like French words a lot, too. Um, but I just I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I like French okay. words. I, I like I, French. I like I French like... I like Jared French. I like Chris Fulmer too. I don't know what where he was. I don't know where Chris was going with this, but he goes, uh, "Holy shit, you guys are actually starting." To... Yeah, I was wondering that too. What do you say there, Chris? Finish your thing. Holy. And then and then Jared saying, "What I see is purple and yellow. Maybe you see them opposite, and that is what is normal for you. So it's not strange. And we have no idea whether or not we are seeing opposite colors because we call them the same thing. And the only way exactly. we won't is if we actually start to engage in a conversation where we start to define our terms. Like I am not against defining your terms. As a matter of fact, because of how I view language, defining your terms to have an effective conversation with people oh. is all the more important." Because I don't assume when you say capitalism that you mean something like mm -hmm. and, and, I, and actually Ty, this is my critique of you. I believe that when you talk to people, a lot of times you actually go down that road where they say capitalist. And I think you kind of assume that they mean and even if they say, no, I don't mean state uh. manipulation. Yeah, you do. Wait, no, no, I just said I, no, no, yeah, yeah, you do. You, you kind of, I think you kind of go down that, that. Oh, that you guys are of. actually starting, we're actually starting to make sense to Chris. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. and uh, oh, yeah, great. this is really, what, what I got reminded of from that one uh, comment uh, uh, of what the colors or what color of the grass can be. 
it reminded me of uh, Robert Anti Anton Wilson, Raw. Okay, uh, he had a thing called E Prime. Yeah. E Prime. He's a voluntarist, and he was, you know, left. But he's a free market guy. Let, uh, you know, uh, he, we'll we'll go into that in another, another time. But he had a thing called E Prime, and he says instead of saying the grass is green, he said it's good to stay away from the word is. That was his little technique. Um, and he says if you say the grass is green, you're saying it's green. But instead, of, uh, but you, he says e the grass. Well, e prime yeah. Appears what, green. Yeah, what he said, what E prime does is like the language changes and takes out the is and say the grass seems green to me or appears, or appears green. green. Like Bodhi said, right. Yeah, so you uh, so the language changes and then you don't have a, a strong intensity dogma onto how you're thinking. So even Robert Anton Wilson was getting into the con concept of consciousness, just like Samuel Edward Conkin and how we look at the world. And um, even by um, I guess E prime. He says with E prime, you actually start to break um, a certain conditionings in your consciousness too. Well, see, I, I find for me when I use like <laughs> it's like it's a balance between being an effective speaker and clarifying thoughts. And and sometimes I go, I get too simplistic for the sake of being an effective speaker, and sometimes I get too opaque in my effort to clarify my thoughts, but in my evolution of language, I find myself less and less using, not that I don't use definitive terms, but but I'm using them less and less because of that very reason that I understand. Like when I say the grass is green, it doesn't mean that I won't have, like if I'm writing a poem or something, and I, you know, I may say the grass is green for some reason or another, but if I'm trying to convey authentic meaning to someone, I'm much more likely to say the grass appears green because I already understand that when I say green, what I think of as green is absolutely... I mean, read Wittgenstein. V please read uh, the Tractatus that, by Wittgenstein. He, he, just, he, just, he, just he just rebutted with Wittgenstein showed that, sub that the subjective nonsense you guys are presenting does not hold weight in reality. That's Vit how I imagine Vit Aaron Wittgenstein, talks. read the picture theory by, by Wittgenstein, and he'll tell you that if two people say fire truck, they're both thinking completely different things. They, uh, they're, they're, not, they're not talking about exactly the same thing. Language is subjective, Aaron. It's I and mean, then Jared I, goes, if because just, it you're not your, that, yeah, that, just that. not your reality. Just not your reality, Aaron. My reality? That's not how that works. That is how yeah, that works. It, That's exactly how that works. No Aaron. one has ever come close to defending the subjectivity faith, nor can they by definition. They deny meaning, yet use language, assumes meaning. I'm not denying meaning. Try to deny yeah. meaning. Absurd non-thinking. I'm absolutely not denying meaning. What I'm saying no. is that it meaning mean... exists. There, there, there has to be some sort of subjective standard for people to be able to effectively communicate. And that standard is malleable. It's, it's you... not like lightning fast malleable, but the it's ground... malleable. This solid ground you're standing on, Aaron, is an assumption between agreeing parties. That's all it is. Yeah. It's an assumption. It's trust. It's faith. It's faith in your fellow man that, okay, they're seeing it the same way, so we have this understanding. If, and guess what? 99% of the fucking time, you end up getting burned. <laughs> Aaron, if you live in a world where you assume that, that language is this finite measure of meaning, then you are probably missing out on understanding the vast majority of people around you because you you're you're nodding your head and they're nodding their head and they're going away thinking something mm, much more different than what you think they are and you're thinking something much more different than what they are because you know what you guys have not defined your terms see you're leading down a path where you don't have to define your terms in the end because everybody is like, well, fire truck is fire truck. Well, well, no, no, no. If we're having a, a conversation in which fire truck is a significant part of that conversation, we're going to have to define and make sure that we all agree when we say fire truck, this is what we mean. Now, if it's an ancillary word, if it's not a, you know, it's a, it's not a salient point, then we probably don't have to make sure that we have that. We can have a general sense that we generally have a 
general agreement of, of what fire truck is. But, if, but but the more specific we get, the more weighted a term is to the conversation that you're having, the more significant it is for you to define the terms. And the reason that you have to define the terms, Aaron, is because language has subjectivity built into it. If it was yeah. built by math, show me the fucking math. And if it doesn't yeah. have math, then shut the fuck up. And also, you have to understand <laughs> how to. <laughs> and then also, you have to understand how to connect with that person, uh, with the person you're talking to. Like, say, I talk to a status left, leftist, like a Democrat or whatever, right? Um, and then they, they're talking about preserving markets, the local markets, um, helping workers get jobs, right? And what I'll do is like, I'll go back to like, oh, look what socialism talks about over here. And this is how they preserve jobs. This is an idea of socialism or, or something like that. Because a lot of these left are socialist leanings, but they'll call themselves by different terms, whether progressive or liberal or, 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 or I guess sometimes socialist Democrat, like really socialist. But, uh, uh, but since they identify with that, you can show them literally socialist ideas that talks about preserving markets and helping workers and you're sharing free market ideas to a socialist so that's why these terms are kind of sloppy you have to learn how to connect with people and what they're looking for they're looking for liberty they're looking to preserve the economy everybody is and this is what I, we got i, to I don't know well, i actually don't i, think I that's disagree true. i don't think that's i think true people people are looking for survival yeah. people are looking yeah, to people, fucking survive pe people are looking for survival oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. comfort and security First and foremost, well, very few yeah. people. I mean, there's people like you and me. You know, we value liberty and we want to be able yeah. to to have our, you know, we want to have the power to choose of our own free volition. But I, I don't think that that's most the way most people can't people even are. get to that point. They don't even understand they, it. They, they, they don't they need have it. These desires, they have these needs. They don't quite understand them, and they're trying to fulfill them the best they can. Which is why I don't even judge status for the most part because I understand that they're struggling. Yeah. Yeah, they just want to get their nut. And you need to find a way to reach them on their level. Not only do they want to, yeah, not only do they want to get their nut, they want to preserve their nut, and they'll they'll do whatever it takes to get it and preserve it. That's but the mentality. You, uh, but also, yeah, but also, if you do talk to some of these progressives and and leftists like status, they're talking about a lot of times local businesses all the time. Uh, well, at least in California, Lo localism local business, is then. real. Localism is really yeah. big in leftist circles. I found the connection. Now, I rejected yeah. no localism, but I was big into localism for a while, and I found a lot of common ground with leftists with localism. The only reason I reject localism now is uh, I I prefer to uh, reward the person or the company, or whatever that uh, can uh, do the most efficient, cost-effective, quality job. Period. I don't care if you live in Bethlehem, PA, or or Wang Chang, China. If Wang Chang, China does a better <laughs> job than Bethlehem, PA, I'm buying from Wang Chang, China. Well, yeah. You could, you could you could create a um, it, it's uh you could create a business that extends throughout the world, um if if um if you have multiple people taking care of it and uh. One side takes care of uh, taking in the shipment. One side makes products and, and ship them in. Um, um, but you need literally work with partners when you're doing stuff like that, when there's no state, the way I look at it, too. Because there is an intense state protectionism with certain global markets. Absolutely. Um, yep, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I, 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 think, I, I think that some global market. I mean, global markets will still exist without the state, but... I love global markets. Uh, I just think it will operate differently. Just personally, I think it will operate differently when there's no state. You know? I, I think um, that you'll end up with a lot more localism than – I mean naturally, you'll end up with a lot more localism. But I don't, I don't choose to artificially favor local uh, businesses anymore. Oh, no. yeah. I, I favor the person that can bring me the product I desire at the cost Boom. I can afford. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, because I, you yeah, know I also, the, the 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 folks in uh, Shenzhen, China, that are working in that factory or whatever, they're to me they are just as valid, just as important, just as relevant as uh, the people that live in Bethlehem, PA. Yeah, yep. I say it. And banning that, having an embargo, doing whatever, starving them, not cool, man. 
doesn't really doesn't fit doesn't into my anything. doesn't fit and I, and this is all subjective but it doesn't fit into my value system no <sighs> but yeah is, i think uh, i think i think we've reached I, this, I think we've reached uh, i'm running out of i got to get to sleep <laughs> oh, you gotta get up, don't you? What, what do you? I gotta get tomorrow? up. I gotta get up in fucking six hours, which is oh bad. shit. I gotta right. get up. I always have to get up early and produce the content, man. Crank that content out, baby. I know, but I'm gonna end it with a song. Ooh, don't do it. I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> what do you mean? You're gonna end up with a. You're gonna play a song that's gonna get a, get, a, get our video deleted. That'll really suck. Oh, aren't you oh. recording? I am actually. Tell me for the one you serve. You're going to get what you deserve.